After five years of severe drought, weeks of rolling rainstorms have soaked California, causing flooding in many parts of the state and finally replenishing surface water supplies. But in much of the Southwest, the drought continues. Lake Mead, one of the most critical water sources in the country, is at dangerously low levels, and federal employees are struggling to manage the depleted reserves. This box that we're looking at right here, this is where we do our tape drop to measure the elevation of Lake Mead. It's a wire weight gauge, so we have the heavy weight on a wire, and as we lower the weight down, it goes from a certain amount down to zero, and that'll tell us how far that weight went down. Tell me a little bit about the water level situation that, that you know, you're facing right now. Years ago, of course, the lake was way up. There was a time in 1983 when I could look down over this wall and it was within six or eight feet. However, over the years with the drought, you can see what's happened. We've gone down an enormous amount in that time. Joe Donnelly works for the Bureau of Reclamation, which is the federal agency tasked with managing the water in Lake Mead the largest reservoir in the United States. The lake has been held in place by the Hoover Dam since the 1930s, and many homes, farms, and businesses in the Southwest depend on its water to survive. But that may be in jeopardy. Thanks to a years-long drought, Lake Mead has gone from 98% full two decades ago to only 38% full today, dropping nearly 130 feet in the process. If it gets any lower, the Bureau of Reclamation will have to declare a shortage and start rationing. So what happens if the government declares a shortage? The short answer? Things will get complicated. Seven states in Mexico draw water from the Colorado River Basin in complex agreements determine how much they can take. The Bureau of Reclamation facilitates these negotiations. The Lower Colorado River is uniquely managed like no other river in the United States. This is a, not only the most scrutinized river, but it's also the one that's been most fought over over the last hundred years. In 1968, Congress approved the Central Arizona Project, which allowed the state to siphon off water from the Colorado River for its cities and farms to the south. As part of this deal, California got what's called senior water rights, meaning that even if a shortage is announced today, they wouldn't have to cut back. Arizona, on the other hand, would have to reduce consumption by 11 percent, or 114 billion gallons. What's the current situation right now with the way the different states and municipalities are interacting with each other? There's still old scars there, but they're at the table talking. They've come together to realize that if they don't work together, this precious resource, this system of water, not just Lake Mead, is in serious trouble. One of the people at the table is John Ensminger, general manager of the Southern Nevada Water Authority. 90% of the water Las Vegas relies on for everyday use comes directly from Lake Mead. We're always negotiating. The seven states that share the Colorado River are basically always at the negotiating table, figuring out how to continue to adapt to changing circumstances. You mentioned that the seven states that get their water from the Colorado River need to cooperate. Um, if, if they didn't, hypothetically, what does that mean? Well, I think you could see litigation. I think really what the result of not cooperating would ultimately be, would ins instead of having water professionals sort these problems out and, and make the, the best case they can for how to operate, you'd be turning things over likely to federal judges to pick winners and losers. But there's more at stake than just court cases. According to the Bureau of Reclamation, the river supports 16 million jobs, generates $1.4 trillion in economic benefits, and irrigates nearly 6 million acres of farmland. Do you ever anticipate that if things get really bad here, that there could be what some people might call water wars? Well, we like to say cooperation instead of litigation. But if you have farmers in Arizona that are upset about having to use less water and farmers in California get to use the same amount of water, doesn't that then create a conflict? Possibly could create a conflict, and conflicts are solved by going to court. And if you go to court, that takes time, and that's not going to help the river. The Bureau of Reclamation hopes that states will continue to work together to allocate water. 
But with future projections indicating a possible shortage in the years to come, it remains to be seen how long this cooperation will last.